7 edition of the National Youth Games saw Harare province continuing with their dominance, a feat that started at the Games' inception in 2003. Harare collected 11 gold medals in athletics, one in volleyball, two in basketball and three bronze in boxing. Their total haul of medals was 48. Wulawe were beaten to the second position by Midlands after they captured 10 gold medals. Midlands captured 11 golds. In total, the Midlanders garnered 33 medals while Wulawe had 29 medals. Mashonaland West captured fourth position, followed by Marsh East. Sixth were the hosts Matabeleland South. Seventh, Mashonaland Central. Eighth were Mastringo. Ninth, Manikaland. And number 10 went to Matabeleland North. The chief executive officer of the local organizing committee, Mkini had this to say. I think one major lesson that we've learned from these games is that um, um, they need quite a number of stakeholders to come on board. It can't be just uh, uh, I mean, a one-man project. Um, we were lucky that uh, we managed to articulate our vision to share the division of the game with a number of stakeholders, the business community, the corporate world, um, government departments came on board. So the whole community of Matsau was quite uh, united in terms of uh, uh, helping this part of the population with the game. It created quite a number of challenges, uh, top of the list being the resources, uh, because as Matsau, watching these games meant that we had to come up with the sporting facilities. So we needed to raise a lot of money, we needed to fundraise quite a lot, look for donations, get stakeholders on board to raise the much needed money to, to set up the infrastructure because uh, uh, we didn't have that kind of uh, funding. But I'm happy to say that uh, because of this all stakeholder support, the private public uh, partnerships approach, it worked well at the end because right now, we have left, left a legacy behind of supporting infrastructure. Uh, we, we had quite a number of big companies that came on board, and namely PPC's men came on board. They helped us quite a lot with the outlaying of the athletics track at Canada Stadium. Delta Corporation came on board. Uh, Blanket Mine supported us, Mbachiko Mine. A lot of people around Gwanda supported this cause. So I think we were quite, uh, I mean, uh, successful because of the help that we got from all these people. Our focus was obviously on preparing the, the facilities, the venues for, for our visitors, right? So a lot of effort was focused on, on, on those instead of the team. But I think they did well under, under the circumstances because they have, they have been competing with teams that are coming from better equipped provinces in terms of facilities. So I think they did well. But I think next year, with the facilities that are now there, there is a chance of them doing better. Ten female soccer teams conveyed in Wulaya for the annual LM Women's Cup. The tournament featured New Orleans of Wulawayo, Inland Academy of Wulawayo, Black Rhinos of Harare, Mufakose, Double Action of Botswana, Township Rollers also of Botswana, Matron Queens of Wulawayo, Flame Lily of Harare, Kosa Gurue and Kaudrepak of Wulawayo. At the semi-final stage, New Orleans got rid of neighbors inland by a goal to nil, while Botswana Giants double action saw off the challenge of Flame Lily by four goals to two. In the third and fourth playoffs, Inland Academy beat Flame Lily on penalties. Arthur Gore Jenner, the coach of Flame Lily, said more such tournaments should be held for the girl child. Uh, I think uh, when we came here yesterday, it, it has been a, a good tournament uh, altogether, uh, well organized tournament. 
I, I think it's a, it's a good platform for, 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 for ladies. So for another team in Germany, in, uh, I think uh, from the, the team that participated here, uh, you can see that uh, there's a lot of talent. Uh, it shows that in, in women football there's enough depth in terms of, uh, of, 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 of players. I think it comes up to, 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 to the sponsors of the tournament. So you, you, you're saying that you brought your seconds inside it? I, I, I mean, uh, in terms of the the, the women team, Unless we are looking at the, the, the national team. I'm saying the national team is in Germany, and we have got uh, players who, who remain behind. And those players who remain behind, uh, including one team, they show that they, they, the mentor as well to be part and parcel of the team that you went to Germany. And then your assessment of the game that you, you just lost. I think I, 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 I think uh, uh, it was a matter of, of, of luck, uh, but uh, we could have won the, ma the match probably in, 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 in regulation time. But uh, it's tough, like it happens in football. Uh, most of these, these ladies, it's their first time to be, to be in such a big stage. So probably a stage fight in uh, some stage affect this. Remember, these are ladies uh, different from boys. And, and I think that that's the best we could do. Uh, uh, thumbs up to in line, they've won uh, the, the, the bronze medal in uh, football. The inline coach Shadrick Mlaud said the women's game was headed in the right direction. It has been a, a very tough tournament, as it were. Uh, we have seen the growth of women's football, and I'm sure we're heading in the right direction because most teams in the tournament were very competitive, showing that uh, if we get corporate support, uh, we're in the right direction. Um, then let's talk about the game that you just played. Uh, your girls looked uh, tired. Um, was it uh, your, your, your strategy maybe to play for a draw? Not really, not really. Uh, you'll also take notice that yesterday we played about uh, 160 minutes of football. For the female athlete, really, it's a tall order. It's very physically demanding. Uh, to some extent, uh, I would like to maybe pin out on the tournament organizers that it could have at least had been better if we had played the semi-finals uh, this morning, then the finals maybe, uh, maybe later on in the day. Because really, uh, look, the tournament uh, format itself, uh, uh, really, you, you could tell towards the dying stages of the, the game. The, the, girls, the lapses in concentration is not because the players uh, are bad technical or tactical. It is purely because the players were simply too tired. So at times, uh, coordination is affected. A lot of things really are impaired when the fatigue is creeped in on the players. Okay, um, the last time that uh, we interviewed you had problems with the goalkeeping department, uh, was that solved? Because considering that uh, the goalkeeper is the one who made you win the game. Uh, just like what I said last time, the goalkeeper then was our latest acquisition. Uh, so she needed a bit of time to adjust it to the playing system. As you could see, uh, our playing system is different from maybe most of the teams because we play with modern defensive tactics. As you could see, the goalkeeper as the last man in defense becomes the silver. But now she needed a bit of adjustment in, in, in that regard. So not really that because uh, maybe she was a bad goalkeeper or anything. That is why we have uh, integrated her into the, into the team because we saw the sort of talent that she had. In the final of the tournament, New Orleans held the Botona team double action one all, forcing the tie to be decided by penalties. New Orleans then emerged victors. The losing coach, Agreement Pudi, said her girls lost because they had played too many matches inside two days. I think the cup is just a good cup. Uh, the problem that maybe I might be heavy is the way the, it was played because we played a lot of games in a short period of time. So that thing really uh, uh, affected us a little bit on the uh, endurance of the players. The winning coach Fungai Nyamukuta said she was happy to win the tournament using junior players. We had a big challenge right from the first game yesterday, but we were taking every game as it came. And I have most of the players that I fielded right from yesterday, they were junior team players, taking into consideration that I've got play, three players that travelled to Germany for the training camp. So it was more like 
I was just giving this girl, the, this the players that I'm developing a chance to play and market themselves. So now at least I'm happy because they suited the situation. The winning team got a floating trophy, 25 gold medals, 25 t-shirts and $500 cash. Losing finalists got a trophy, 25 silver medals, 25 t-shirts and $300. The third place team got a trophy, 25 bronze medals, 25 t-shirts and $200. There were also individual awards and certificates. The Director of Development within Zimbabwe Cricket, Titus Itai Zomuya, has promised the nation more players of Brian Vittori's quality as ZC continues with its development programs. Uh, in terms of programs, what we have are a number of programs. For example, right now, we are looking forward to the ICC Women's World Cup qualifiers that will be held in uh, Sri Lanka in November, where we did qualify last year as uh, Zimbabwe. Now we are going into the second round qualifiers. Uh, we are in the same group with West Indies, Sri Lanka, South Africa, and Bangladesh. And we hope we will be able to make it into the World Cup that will be held next year. We also are looking forward to the age groups traveling to South Africa. They will be traveling in December, three age groups, but more importantly, the under 19s, because next year. There will be the Under-19 World Cup in Australia. So this age group will be traveling to South Africa, first for the Cubs week, and then hopefully for the Under-19 Reciprocal week against South Africa. And then finally, during the third week, they will be having a Tri-Nations series against uh, South Africa and the uh, Sri Lanka, which for us is very important. We believe we must expose our under 19s to this type of uh, this level of competition so that when they then get to the World Cup next year in July, it will be easier uh, because they'll have experienced at least the same level of competition at the pre stages. We also are looking forward to a number of other programs, for example, in a week's time. We will be having the school's uh, first 11 tournament at Prince Edward, where hopefully some 50 schools around the country will be coming to participate. This for us again is a very important platform where we expose our players, schools, as well as officials to a tournament where they can uh, then have a, a situation where they are exposed to at least some good competition and hopefully at that level some clubs may be able to identify them and then they will fit into the club system and hopefully the franchises will also pick on a few other guys that will have excelled at that level. But for us this is a very important platform, especially at school level. In Wulawayo, facilities that are being used for development include Crescent, Gifford, BAC, Emma Kandeni and several schools dotted around the city.
Um, in Bangladesh, I think you know, they, they started to play much better. I think they may have been complacent when they first arrived, thinking they would roll us over. And then, before they knew it, they'd lost the series, but have come back and played well. I'm disappointed, that, you know, we're, we're up there disappointed. OK, we won the series, but to lose the last two games as we have done, it, I, you know, it's taken a bit of the gloss off it for me. And um, it shows that there are...